Andreas Dürr ditched his career in banking to launch a new startup. He organizes dragon boat races. This word work is so loaded. There's this pressure that you have to work. I don't feel that way. I freed myself because it's my life. Maybe it was my calling. This perspective lets you see a bit more. It gives me power, and I want the things I'm doing to evolve. In that sense, I'm closer to a calling than if you have some abstract little job you're doing for somebody else. Katharina Brunn's old job was advertising consultant for an IT firm. Now she runs her own firm, Supercraft, designing handicraft kits for people to make their own bags, customize clothes and accessories. The mental strain used to be really high. At the same time, I was completely under-challenged. People there had burnouts because of the stress. But in human terms, you're below your potential. The jobs are too small for what we're actually capable of. Most of the demand for her do-it-yourself kits comes from women, eager to rediscover old-fashioned handicrafts. Bruns and her business partner bring out a new idea every two months. Each time a new one comes out, several thousand orders flood into their online store. I had a very good job and was very comfortable. I struggled when I first became self-employed, but now I'm earning more money. Plus, nobody tells her where and when to work. And she has no problem balancing her job with her private life. Jobs tend to comprise what other people want and expect from you. Now my work is what I want and expect from myself. It's a huge difference. Realizing that can change your whole life. The higher your qualifications, the lower the job satisfaction tends to be. Ute Glaubitz runs workshops explaining how to succeed in taking that step. You'll suffer if you end up with something random because you couldn't find anything better. A job like that takes a lot out but gives you nothing in return. OK, what you get is money to pay the rent. But there are a lot of people who are saying that's not enough. They want to do something they can connect with. Like Andreas Dürr, he's turned a passion into his profession. He also made his move after consulting an expert. Now he organizes over 80 sporting events a year for up to 1,000 people. Companies book things like dragon boat races to motivate employees. With a wife and children to support, he had to seriously weigh the risk involved. You always get times when you wonder if you've reached your limit. So you need to be alert and show humility. Don't take it too seriously when things are going well. And the same thing if you're down and out. You never know, maybe something good will come out of it. For now, Andreas certainly has great job satisfaction, whether there are choppy waters on the horizon or not.